Welcome back everyone to another video and in today's video we shall try to add more player slots based on equipment that we have equipped. So the first thing what I want to do is go to my UI folder and change some things up a little bit because as of right now our player slots only support 4 slots. So to fix this what I will do is we're going to run over this real quick. Let's create a new widget. Let's call this player slot panel and I'm going to do this really quick because I've already done this multiple times and you probably already know what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to replace the canvas panel with the child, change the tint to be 0.3 and make sure it's black so it fits the tone. Let's add a vertical box in this, let's add a text box on this, then let's add a scroll box inside of the vertical box and then inside of the scroll box let's add a uniform grid panel. So there we go, text justification to the middle and I'm gonna change the styling in a second. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that my scroll box is set to fill and that my grid panel is set in the top left corner. For the slot padding just like in every other grid panel 109696 let's give this thing a name grid panel Let's make this into a variable, compile and save this and let's go to our graph. Now on event construct to make life easier for us what we can do is open up our inventory panel and we can go to the graph and simply copy our event construct inside of our player slots. There we go, copy that. We can delete our is valid che check for the backpack since it's not necessary, also this variable. Then let's bring it back over here, there we go, and we need to get our player slots on this one. And then we can do a loop for this. Now the next thing would be uh, promoting our player slots into a variable, and I'm gonna have 4 slots per row, just like I have right now. 4 slots, and also we need to change our uh, widget to be our player slots widget. And by holding control I'm gonna connect index to the slot index. There we go. Now let's actually uh, display this. So in our UI inventory I'm going to remove the content of the player slot panel. So this vertical box right here is getting deleted. Also I'm going to remove the tint on this one completely. And I'm going to make this into a variable. Now in our graph let's see. So somewhere along this route of creating widgets and adding them as children we shall make space for two more the same nodes, so something like this, there we go, connect these up. So we are creating our UI player slots panel and we are adding this as a child to our player slots panel. So if you watched my previous videos you already know why I'm doing this and how this should work. And so that I don't have to repeat myself too many times, I'm not going to explain it since it's pretty much uh, pretty simple. So if you press I, there we go, the slots are the way they were. Now after adding the styles, one thing that I do want to do is make this box a little bit bigger so that I don't have to scroll if we don't have many slots. So it should look something like this. Now let's work on the actual functionality and for that let's go to our inventory folder and we have our S slot structure. Now we need to specify the type for the slot so that we know which item is responsible for uh, us having more s slots. So I'm going to call this type and this is going to be a string since in my S inventory structure the type is a string. You might use any other uh, text type variable. So let's have a string there then let's go to our s inventory structure and here we want to add also another entry and my unreal crashed so apparently uh, the unreal could crash if we add slots to this and if we now go back to our UI inventory there is no, no more variable that I added so let's try this again and now it works just fine so let's add uh, let's call this extra slots and this will be an integer which is going to represent how many new slots we are going to have. Now let's save these structures and actually let's close all of this and let's go to our items database 
And I have many items from the previous tutorials, so let me remove those. So I removed all my extra items. Now for the vest, I want to have two extra slots. And for the arm piece, let's have also two extra slots per arm piece. Now that we have this set up, let's go to our third person character. And inside of here, we're going to need to adjust quite a few things. Now for every S slots structure, we're going to have another variable. So we will have to uh, reconnect this. But we're going to work on this in a second. First, let's work on actually adding extra slots. The first thing is in our add items to equipment. We're going to want to add extra slots after our server add equip visuals. Let's drag in our player slots. Let's add to our player slots. Let's make our S slots structure. And over here, what we want to do is make our item. So let's manually select our database and let's give this a row name empty. Since by default we want to add an empty item with amount zero and the type in this case is going to be type from our item. So this type over here. So let's connect this so that we know that uh, these slots are from our, let's say, armor piece. And we also want to have multiple slots, probably depending on the amount of extra slots we have over here. So from the extra slots, let's drag from this and let's do a loop for loop. Now on this for loop, what we want to do is reconnect our first index to be in the last index. So these extra slots would be the last index and the first index will be one. We don't want to start with zero because that's going to give us uh, one more slot than we specified. Now let's connect our loop inside of here after the server add equipment visuals. And then in the loop body, we want to add these slots and on complete, then we can return success in this function. Now that's going to be good for this one. This is going to add our slots. So let's try this out. Let's press play. Let's see. Let's grab ourselves an armor. Let's equip this and you can see we have two more extra slots. So now if we maybe add a arm piece, we get two more. But as of right now, if we unequip this, well, we still have those slots. So let's fix that. Now to remove slots, we should probably do that in our remove amount at index. Uh, also after our server add equip visuals, but uh, to have less routing, let's simply add a new function. Let's call this remove extra slots. And this function right here needs a single input and this is going to be our item and we don't need the amount. We don't need any of that information. All we need is the data table row handle, which is going to give us all the information we need. So let's break that so that we would get our data table from the data table. We can get our data table row. Let's connect the execution. Let's connect the row name. Now we need the outro. So let's look for our S inventory structure node. Let's copy that over here. There we go. Now let's bring in our player slots. And over here, what we want to do to remove uh, the entries from our RI, we want to do a reverse for each loop. Uh, because if we are removing entries from the loop, we always want to do it backwards. Uh, so that let's say if we have eight entries, we delete the seventh one. That means that we have seven now, no longer eight. So that's going to glitch out our loop and not going to remove all the necessary entries. Now, what we want to do next is add a local variable in this function. And let's call this removed slots. And actually, and let me call this actually local removed slots. Let's make this into an integer so that we could keep tabs on how many slots we have already removed so that we wouldn't remove too many. So let's get this variable and let's check if this is smaller than our extra slots over here. So extra slots. Now from this one, we can do an if branch check inside of our loop body. So let's do that. Then let's break our array element to get the S slot structure and from true, let's do another if branch check because what we want to check for is that our type is equal to the item type so that we would remove the correct uh, slots from our player slots. There we go. Now we want to do one more if branch check on true because uh, we want to check if we actually have an item in this slot. So let's check if the amount is equal to zero like so. 
and if the amount is not equal to zero that means we still we have something in this slot so we want to run our server spawn item function over here for the spawn location let's use our get actor location so that we would spawn our pickup right where is uh, right where is our character and for the item we want to use the entry from our ri so connect it directly right so now let's drag in our player slots and now we can remove index from our ri and we can connect this to the true from the if branch check and also let's connect it from our server spawn item and for the index we need to use our ri index like so then once we have done this let's drag in our local removed slots and let's do a increment so plus plus increment integer and this is gonna add plus one to our removed lo uh, local removed slots now this should be good for this function let's compile and save this let's go to our remove amount at index and let's see so let's drag these nodes back a little bit and after our server uh, add equipment visuals let's run our remove extra slots function like so and for the item data table row handle we can simply double click this to reroute it and connect it right here now we can compile and save this let's press play let's equip some pieces to our character so let's pick up this one so we have two and now we have four more extra slots let's move these back there we go and if we move this in well uh, it's not working perfectly because we have some loose ends but uh, adding and removing is working the way it should as of right now the issues are that over here we don't have the type so let's make sure that we connect the type from our get node to this make slot structure so that it would keep the same type that it had before because this is simply just changing the amount and it's leaving the same item uh, in its slot now let's go to our add item to player slots and over here uh, on first if branch check on true where we are checking if the item is equal to nothing if it's true uh, we can, can no longer add our local item directly what we want to do is make our s slots structure let's break our local item let's connect the local item itself the local amount and for the type what we want to use is this type right here from our player slots get node so let's connect the type and if we look further down the road we have another s slot structure right here and for this one we want to use the exact same type from our existing player slots get node so let's test this out let's press play so i have a small backpack that already has some items in it by default so let's add ourselves a vest we have a vest let's add our arm pieces and as you can see we have six extra slots now let's remove one piece so we have four two and no more extra slots now let's try picking up some items and let's try debugging this by trying multiple different uh, ways to break our game so basically let's move in a log inside of here another log here let's split this just to be safe now let's try to unequip our armor and as you can see two items got spawned one got thrown away there we go let's try some more try throwing these items all over the place to see maybe we can maybe we can make so I'm just throwing items back and forward right now, hoping that maybe there is some issue that we can find and maybe break the game. So let's see, we have done this part, so let's try to unequip our items and, well, we broke the game. We still have extra slots, that means that somewhere along the way uh, we have not connected some of the types. So one last no location that I missed was in the remove amount at index. We need to connect this item type here as well. So we can go to the start and get it from our get node right here. So now let's compile and save this and let's try this once more. Let's pick up our backpack. Let's equip our equipment. There we go. The issue was with stackable items. Once we move those around and there is no more so let's try to 
add some of these so let's move these to a different slot so make sure you test this out by moving the items to many different slots uh, with stackable with non stackable items and if you find any issues uh, make sure you leave a comment down below so that I know uh, if I have missed something so now let's try to unequip this there we go We're unequipping unequipping and let's try to unequip our armor there we go everything seems to be working just fine so, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you want more tutorials, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, comment, support the broski on Patreon, download free assets from itsmebro.net and join his Discord. Links in the description. Peace out.